Howdy, everyone. My name's Nicholas, and welcome to the Headliner Pod Pod. We're a show about podcasts featuring podcasts by podcasters that's hosted by people who help podcasters with their podcasting. On each episode, a few of us folks over at Headliner sit down to play a game that centers around listening to randomly selected clips from over 500 show submissions we've gotten from podcasters. Why? Well, in order to find what we call zero. Here are the rules. Each lucky contestant will hear a 60-second podcast clip. They'll then need to pick the correct podcast title from a lineup of three choices before being shown the artwork for that show. Before we get this show on the road, though, let's say hi to each of our contestants today. Starting with Oliver. Hello, hello. Well, that is a little too loud. It's real <laughs> loud. You're going to have to limit that. I'm not turning it down. I want to be the loud guy today. Cool. We're just going to run Adobe's distortion repair over all of your track. That's right, Nicholas. Happy to be here. Happy to be here. <laughs> we'll put them on blast and see how good it really is. Next up, we have Jesse. You know, it's a pleasure to be here, honestly. Thank you for the very chill, level-headed introduction. And we, of course, have Max, who I'm now worried is going to do the opposite of Oliver and just lower his levels to, like, a whisper. Heads up, headliners. Welcome to another episode. That was I'm great. Not chill guy. Usually I'm chill guy. So Jesse's going to be yeah. chill. I'm going to try to be a little extra today. It's a little Keanu Reeves because I can tell you're trying not to be chill, but the chillness, it, it exudes you. So it's still like, it's like the most laid back guy ever still. It's my, I have monotone disorder. Everything I say <laughs> ends up in the same tone. I've gotten it might be before. a real thing. I don't know. Really, I can't get beyond this tone no matter how hard I try. <laughs> you've just, you've chilled out. You don't know how to unchill. We also have our producer, Alyssa, as usual. Hi. Sorry. I was struggling clicking on mute. Okay. And in a break from things, because Christy and Pratik isn't here, so, you know, we're just running wild this week, we decided to have Max lead us off with a little announcement about Headliner. Absolutely. So two cool new updates this week. The first is in Make you can now generate images. So you don't have to search for some image that you have an idea of in your head of what would be good for your audiogram. Now you can just generate it out of thin air with the power of AI. So if you go and add media in the advanced editor, there's now a text image feature that lets you type in whatever prompt you want. And we're just going to generate an image for you. I recommend trying the tater top monster prompt. We've gotten some fun results with that. And I think you'll probably start seeing that on our social soon. The second update is in Eddie, and it is now, the, the update for Eddie is that it's, Eddie is now a little bit smarter. So in addition to generating show notes that look like your previous podcast show notes, we're now extending that ability to titles. So if you're in Eddie and you upload some audio and select a podcast that that's for, we're going to start using your previous episodes as a guide to create a style and a tone that's similar to what you're already used to. So we're personalizing the AI title suggestions and the show notes now as well to your to your podcast previous style. So hopefully that just saves you a bit of work and gets you a little bit closer as a first draft when you're in there creating titles and editing your transcripts, et cetera. Very cool. I love it. So just to summarize, Eddie is a bit smarter. It got its GED and you can now create tater tot monsters on a make. Awesome. And I actually, I do remember you sent them around and they, it is so cool, but I, it was, it was actually a little terrifying. It looked like SpongeBob made out of tater tots. Yeah. We, I don't think it has any resemblance to SpongeBob. <laughs> I, for the Legally, record, there is no, not. no relation, yeah. no prompts asking for right. spongebob behind the scenes so yes for our many listeners at viacom it does not resemble spongebob whatsoever thank you max <laughs> anyway let's just dive right into things and start with oliver oliver if you'd cover your eyes please you know one time like that croc is gonna like some luggage is gonna fall down and it's gonna have crocs in it and they're gonna <laughs> fall on his feet he's gonna keep on walking <laughs> it's gonna be like son of a bitch 
We have a movie called My Croc Game where My Croc don't wear Crocs. <laughs> then the Croc rebels and does well, the, come home, come home with Crocs. Yeah, we know the fucking comic release gonna be in the back of the movie. Like, is that Croc women Crocs? Oh <laughs> shit! I think I saw everything. <laughs> uh fun. All right, Greg, you got any more? Or? Oh yeah. Oh, I guess 2011, 19-year-old uh, Olga Moskalovia and her stepfather Igor. Ting Sangolf <laughs> were killed in one of the most horrific animal attacks ever in a remote area of East Siberia. The pair had been fishing and were attacked when they returned to the spot to grab a fishing rod. And you know what it was? It was a bear. What a note to end that on. Just like fun. That croc had crocs on just into like one of the most vicious animal attacks I've ever heard. Okay. Bear, on that note. most likely from New England accent wise also <laughs> the way they just callously talked about tragedy I'm guessing they're from my home state of Massachusetts okay that's a very Massachusetts thing just complete disregard for mm. anything that might everything is just <laughs> see I was I was thinking they were East Coast because I was like they kind of have that New Jersey love for just slipping cuss words in between every other syllable but oh well anyway yeah. here are your options Oliver the first one is you gonna eat that crust <laughs> number two no crumb left behind and number three down with uncrustables which I'm just imagining like a statue of a giant uncrustable being like toppled over like in an act of rebellion. You're going to eat that crust. I got to <laughs> tell you. What was that? The uncrustable one, I'm going to throw that one out. I, I probably okay. shouldn't, but, you know. All right, so, so what was the first one again there, Nicholas? You going to eat that crust? Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, what's the next <laughs> one? No crumb left behind. God. Okay, based on the way those gentlemen were talking about... Uh, crock on crock violence and then they were talking about the the fish fishing expedition gone awry i think that the correct answer is number two <laughs> nicholas tell me what i've won you've won an apology letter because it was not no crumb left behind it was actually you're going to eat that crust that crumb oh, it was. crust whatever yeah so sorry, but I do I do appreciate the energy. Also, this artwork is incredible for those listening. It is just the word animal attacks, which is the name of the episode in question. We have the three hosts photoshopped onto stock images of people running, and there are animals behind them attacking a lion, a bear, and a hippo. What situation are they going to be in the same region? Like It's more hippo. common than you'd think. Well, you know, sometimes <laughs> evil <laughs> villains in James Bond movies collect animals from across the world for such a, a situation. Mike Tyson used to have tigers. Could That's be at Mike Tyson's house with his pigeons and his tigers. It's in Mike Tyson's little garden. <laughs> yeah, why not? He What's keeps wrong with it hippos? in the koi pond casually. Yeah. <laughs> okay, my bad. That's on me. It's for entertaining guests, you know. So there you have it. This episode was Animal Attacks. And here's our show description. Comedy podcast about life, movies, pop culture, video games, and anything deemed worthy of our attention. And this is just my little add to that, including vicious animal attacks and stories about Crocs wearing Crocs, the bane of my existence. So on that enchanting note... Really interesting podcast. I just want to know where it goes from there. So I'm actually going to be bookmarking that URL and saving it because I I just I need to know what made them pick animal attacks. Their website tagline is in crust we trust. <laughs> I, I that would have been a great name for the podcast in crust we I'm so upset that I didn't Google that and look. Oh. And yeah, oh, okay. well, well, you live and you learn jumping on forward. Let's go with Jesse for our second right. clip today. Oh, he has an actual eye mask or blind. Wow. Okay. Yeah. He's prepared. 
I, I have time to drive from the Manhattan cruise terminal to now to New Jersey and drive to Bayonne in another Uber. So that was a costly mistake and one to make sure that you are realizing if you're sailing out of, you know, the New York metro area that you're realizing that you're sailing out of Manhattan or New Jersey or, you know, making sure you look at those details. It was a silly thing. And luckily it wasn't where I was actually cruising. So I didn't have any luggage with me. And, you know, I, did, I was able to make it with time to still get on board and experience the ship and create content out of it. But it was one of those things where I will never make that mistake again. <laughs> and I don't think I've ever told anyone this. So that is a special nugget for just uh, listeners of the Joy of the Cruising Again podcast because uh, <laughs> it's embarrassing for sure. But you know what? Things happen and, and you learn from those mistakes. Okay. There was our clip. So, Jesse, here are your options for today. Number one, ride in the waves. Number two, Bon Voyage Pod. And number three, the joy of cruising. Well, <clears throat> all right. Mathematically speaking. <laughs> of course. Mathematically speaking. If the answer was there. Hello, my cat's visited. If the answer was there, I think I think y'all know that I've picked I've picked the center one the last two times correctly, have if you? I may add. I have. And I know that you know this, Nicholas. It's okay. I, I don't. You don't have I to. I really pretend. don't. So knowing that you know this. I uh -huh. knew that. I know that I can't pick that one. So it's going to have to be number three. Okay. So you just, you, number one, you didn't even entertain. It's number just one, the joy of cruising. It's, it's too lonely at the top. We're not trying to be there. You know, we have so, someone like check the sleep mask you were using. Cause at this point, I'm just convinced you poked holes in it or something. Cause yeah, it's the joy of cruising. They also said the answer there at the end in the podcast. Oh, go figure. But besides that. Did no, 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 no. Please continue. Did Nobody just says besides that and then doesn't provide Yeah, they did. Besides. There at the end. It's at the end of the clip. It, she said, that's a little tidbit. I've never shared that with anyone. That's a little tidbit for the Joys of Cruising podcast. Oh my God. And your I made memory little... is insane. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> okay. Terrifying. That's on, that's yeah. on me. Math math didn't win. You just. Okay. Math never. <laughs> math never you, wins. <laughs> you committed to the bit. That's fine. Okay. Well, yes, it is the joys of cruising. This is from the episode Alana Singano, Travel the World from A to Z. And yeah, I'm, I'm at a loss for words from that still. For what it's worth, if it were me at bat, I would not have picked that up. I, I just wouldn't. <laughs> anyway, here's our description for the show. The Joy of Cruising podcast is a conversation with one of dozens of amazing cruisers with fascinating stories that have been featured in the Joy of Cruising trilogy. The Joy of Cruising, Cruising Interrupted, and new The Joy of Cruising Again. In addition, there will be conversations with individuals with great cruising backgrounds who are almost profiled in the books, but it fell through due to scheduling, etc. And finally, cruise personalities that come along with fascinating stories who might be great candidates to feature in future projects. So, there you go. It's also a trilogy of books. I, I never would have guessed that. That's so interesting. Honestly, I because Alyssa, I don't think... Oh, you did mark the ones that are the correct answer. If it were me, I wouldn't have picked the Joy of Cruising because I would have been too fixated on the word cruising because of the Smokey Robinson song. Anyway... Let's skedaddle over to Max, who looks about ready to get it right again. He's been on a roll lately, right? I think. I think I missed the last one. I don't have an eye mask, but I think I'm legally blind at this point. So if I take <laughs> my glasses off, I think that's the same thing. Okay. So everything if you just insist, looks like I a Rorschach close my eyes. test. Yeah. Mm, what do you think, Alyssa? Do we trust him? I mean, him? sure. Yeah. Why, why not? not? All right. Let's All right, do it. Yeah. Keep, keep your eyes open then. They're open and not seeing anything. Late 1700s in Pennsylvania, I guess perhaps with the exception of the Quakers that established that African school, racism was pretty pervasive in the North and the South. And oh, yeah. I, when you were talking about also Pennsylvania was bordered by slave states, Virginia obviously went to the Confederacy during the Civil War, but Maryland and Delaware did not. 
and there were still slave states, and D.C. actually had a huge number of slaves, even though it was the capital of the Union, so also close to Pennsylvania. So it's just, there's a lot of, sometimes it's not as uh, clear-cut as you would read in some textbooks, we'll say. Okay. There was your clip, Max. And running down the list, your first option is the U.S. Navy History Podcast. Number two, no, not like Top Gun, which I can't stress. I disagree with, but whatever. Number three, Navy Pod. Getting pulled towards a Navy theme. Yeah. A fun fact, I actually went to a Quaker school, but I'm not a Quaker. But really? the school near me was hmm. Quaker. So I read some textbooks with Quakers. And I can agree. You know, it's it's not always as clear cut as it seems. Hmm. Okay. But the Quakers are, you know, they're nice people. And I think if they taught me right, then I am going to go with the first option. And if that's incorrect, then let this be a reflection of my Quaker education. I was not prepared for the real world to make wow. these types of decisions, if that's incorrect. So so there are great people, the Quakers, but if you're wrong, you are also just going to completely hurl them under the bus. Just I no am mercy. not promoting or or detracting from the Quaker religion. I actually don't know enough about it to speak to if it's good or bad or sure. whatever. But, you know, all I'm saying is they seem like nice <laughs> folks. Honesty. And and so that's all I have to say about it. Okay. Great, <laughs> great oats. To well. clarify, if you get it right, though, the Quakers, they're fine. Like, we're, we're cool with the I'm, Quakers. Their education it's not really about the, the Quakers overall. Okay. I was just saying my education. And okay. you can draw what conclusions you want from that okay. okay well regardless the u.s navy history podcast is correct it oh, wasn't yeah. no not like top gun thanks for that Alyssa. i didn't even get to write down a note about how i noticed that mm. but i'm oh, funny no. i know yeah so there you go that was let's it. go quakers good job <laughs> so guys. it's it's I, I just appreciate on the cover it just says redacted right there i think that's so great and it's a cool cover it's very retro that makes yeah, me want to listen to this now. Anything that's redacted, I'm like, ooh, tell me more. Yeah, about redaction. <laughs> your, your meek Quaker upbringing. <laughs> <laughs> they teach you to look where the others don't want you to look. Yeah. They, they teach you to re-redact the redacted. So yeah. this was from the episode Black History Special Part 1. And our description of this show is very simple. It is... History of the United States Navy from the Revolutionary War to Modern Times. So, yeah, pretty interesting stuff. I can't say I know much about the Navy, but if you want to learn more about it, here's the show for you. Sounds like a show for you, Nicholas. You got to bone up yeah, on your it might be. Navy history. I actually have a friend whose husband is in the Navy, so maybe I'll like binge this podcast and just like hang out with them and have like way too much trivia about it. Beats all the movie trivia. Anyway... Let's jump on over. That was everybody. So we do have time for one more little clip. We can get everyone involved in it. So let's do that. If everyone will cover their eyes, take their glasses off, and cover their eyes with a sleep mask that may or may not have holes in it. Cool. Well, first, you got to, you got to, you got to, with an owlbear, you got to, you know, you got to get right in there. <laughs> and then you just, you, you get them, right? <laughs> Oh right, yeah. of course. And then I after I caught yeah, him, yeah, uh -huh. after I caught him, some of these other other bandits in the in the trees here, they they joined up. Wow, that's amazing. Impressive. You really yeah. are quite an impressive. Not a lot of people can say they caught an owl bear. No, I certainly can't. I mean, look, I, there's no there's no way I could get in there. <laughs> you got you just, you get right in there. You just gotta you gotta commit, <laughs> commit and get right in there. So, what did you and Remy meet? I would love to hear more about this love story. Well, you know, I was, we were up, we were up by the road, you know, we were, we were robbing caravans. As one does. Yeah. yeah, right. We were, you know, taking, taking the stuff that we wanted so that we could, we could have it. 
I think that was one of the most eloquent descriptions of thievery I've ever heard. We take the stuff we want because we want it. Yeah, take that stuff so you can have it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I that's still just... want to know how Smokey Robinson came in play <laughs> earlier. <laughs> oh, because he has a song named Cruisin'. <laughs> that's and why that's what you thought of it my brain works in weird ways and also one of my Accident. music professors in college played on a cover of it by d'angelo so it's like lodged in my head that knowledge <laughs> but <laughs> um okay yeah like i said i'm just a trivia machine so here are our titles for this podcast number one guaranteed adventures number two Guaranteed and D and D, and number three, the totally rad podcast games TTRPG. It's a good play on words there. RPG, yeah. That From the, the voice, pretty well. Did I you say three. Imagine. Three. What's that, y'all? Did you say three options? Yeah, that was three options. I feel like I had the second and third blurred together. I wasn't actually sure what which one was which. Okay, so the second one was Guaranteed and D&D. And the third okay. one was the Totally Rad pod- Podcast Games, TTRPG. Totally Rad Podcast Games is pretty good because I know. it sounds like an RPG podcast. Mm-hmm. And that's TTRPG, right? Yeah, I feel like they put a lot of thought into not only the acronym that they were going to use, but also the fact that it rhymes. I have to be completely honest, and I don't think Alyssa would come up with that one. And I'm sorry, Alyssa. I respect you. I'm hurt. (laughs) I know. It hurts. Sometimes the truth hurts. Vicious. (laughs) I I had to hide my video because I'm just in shambles crying over here. I don't know that I consider you... I, I didn't know you cry, Alyssa. I thought... When you're upset, you grab your dog and go hunting. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, there's different ways to cope, Oliver. Well, well the, really... the video is off, Oliver, so we don't know she isn't doing that. We don't know. Yeah. Yeah. She does know where I live, so I am now. Schroding to go dog. Out. <laughs> <laughs> Gearing up to, to walk down a Broadway here and with my dog. There you go. What do you think, guys? If, think, if I may interject, I think we got three? dangerously close to DDoSing Oliver for a second there. Why would you do that? Well, we said we said the street you live on. Oh, no, that's <laughs> a DDoS attack. Is there, you're talking about? No, that's that. a web attack. You're right. I'm thinking of something Doxing. else. Yeah, there, Doxing. Yeah. Doxing. Doxing. Yes. Smokey Robinson didn't have a song about web, web attacks. So Nicholas. I, yeah, it, clearly. That's why I got that wrong. <laughs> Whatever. That's you can tell stuff. the podcasters where I live. Come at me, podcasters. I'll serve you tea and biscuits. <laughs> yeah, not only do you know where he lives, but he's going to give you some biscuits if you come by. So stay away or not. Have a good yeah. Enjoy a biscuit. He's uh, open arms. Well, I also like the TT RPG. What is the first T for? Is that a the? The Totally Rad Podcast Games. Yeah. Hmm. I like it too. I mean, I think there was a lot of time that was put into that. And honestly, I feel like it deserves to be chosen and at least get this recognition, whether Alyssa made it or if the podcasters made it. I feel like this title is it's really good. What was the first one again? Jesse, you just sucking up to Alyssa now. Come on. You're like, well, I need nice copy about (laughs) podcast promo. (laughs) I know we all do. Please, Alyssa, please don't hate us. However, I stand by what I said. (laughs) <laughs> Jesse just doesn't want to get hunted. This dog might pick up on a scent. Dakota's literally upside down, like head off. I don't think he's going to come. Get down the bow. All, all 15 pounds of him, very non threatening. I mean, he, he, he might only be 15 pounds, but he has the gait of a 20 pound dog. Coda. Yeah. He, he may only be 15 pounds, but it's 15 pounds of muscle. So, what was the first option? Guaranteed Adventures. I like that one, too. Well, if you guys want to go with TTRPG... I think um, I think we're good to go with it. Let's do okay. it. Let's lock it in. The Totally Rad Podcast Games Tabletop RPG is incorrect. 
it was guaranteed adventures max you were guys. so close you were so close Come to on, the truth guys. that's all i have to say oliver ha you the never cease to amaze me <laughs> wow so you came up with that one yeah yeah i did oh, wow yeah i know bask bask in all of my glory did you yeah. play role playing games no i knew so i knew that it stood for something um, i think i also saw like the acronym in the description yeah it's in the but description then i thought this sounds like an opportunity and it was <laughs> yeah yeah and for what it's but, worth this was bait for christy originally yes well there you go <laughs> see yeah no bait when i see it <laughs> So you Things Jesse track. says at the fishing shop. <laughs> Before I take my dog and go hunting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, okay. think, I think Guaranteed Adventures is is a good name. Honestly, it is. And the T, the double T, kind of threw me. Should have, I should have gone off my gut. I was like, I don't think somebody's going to put a T in an acronym like that. Hmm. Would have been now lowercase if they did. But um, yeah, there you go. So you guys ever see a, a T in an acronym? Uh, sorry, I am a the. What I said previously didn't make any sense. A the and an acronym as the T. That's a red flag. Uh, yeah, I, although I've seen them, Max. They just they're lowercase usually, like the Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, that's, that's true. A that's very good up. counterpoint. Okay, forget everything I said. Haven't seen that either. Yeah. You haven't seen the Lord of the Rings? Unfortunately, not. No. Ne- no, I neither have like... I, man. You're good. You're but good. like at this point in my life, I feel like if I watch it, then I'm going against something. And so mm-hmm. it's kind of like just a personality trait now. That's me with Lord of the Rings and Game of Thrones. I literally worked a job analyzing media before I joined you guys. And I refused to watch both of those. Like I turned down work to keep this going. <laughs> and I like fantasy. I like the books for what it's worth. <laughs> All right. But yeah, you have me. Game of Thrones is amazing. <laughs> Don't stand for that. Yeah, I'm sure it is. I just, I got to keep going at this point. I'm setting my ways Stick on to that note. Boom. Exactly. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> so this was from season four, episode three, Ivory Horizon, Legitimate Bandits, which explains the clip we heard about them robbing people so that they could have things. And here's our description. Welcome to Guaranteed Adventures where the stories might change, but the adventure is guaranteed. We're just a bunch of friends diving into the world tabletop role-playing games, TTRPGs. From dungeons filled with dragons to superhero adventures, our podcast is your ticket to countless adventures. What makes us special? Well, first off, we're totally family-friendly and squeaky clean. We jump into different TTRPG systems every season and craft a whole new story, so you can join in at any point. No need to binge listen for hours. Each season is a self-contained tale, ready for you to dive right in. Whether you're a seasoned adventurer or a complete newbie to TTRPGs, we're here to make you feel right at home. So, grab your imaginary sword and your favorite snack and join our party. Your seat at the table is waiting. Cool and inviting, I like that. That's also, that's such a great hook for a D&D podcast, because that's like the single worst thing about every D&D podcast. You join after they've passed season one. You have like homework to do before you can just listen to the podcast. So, yeah, very cool stuff. Love the cover and interesting. It's definitely interesting. And with that out of the way, we've exhausted our list of options for today. To everyone who listened, we hope you enjoyed it. We hope you learned something about Smokey Robinson and Cruisin'. And the fact that Jesse and I will never, ever watch Lord of the Rings. It's actually a lie because I'm thinking of changing it finally. But that's for me to figure out. Anyway, that's the episode. Hope you enjoyed it.